Hi, this is a quick video. If you're a beginner to trail running, this may be of help to you. Okay, so these are my standard running shoes. They're New Balance version 5, 880s, quite neutral, and um, I love them, I always buy them. So, obviously, road tread. They tend to even slip on grass, the basic of trail running. So, um, I wouldn't want to use these in mud. You know, you, you risk injury, basically, as well. Um, now, I have been using these, which are Salom uh, Salomon Speedcross 3s. They're nice and light, um, they've got great treads underneath, um, but they have got the slick bits in between. Now, if you go on the road with these, which tends to be the case if you don't live completely in the country, you know, they, these will wear down, especially when the pressure points on the ball of the foot and the heel, etc. They've been great, but I've uh, wanted to try something else out. So what I've purchased are these um, Soconi Trail Peregrines. Now, these are Peregrine 10s. The Peregrine's 11s are out at the moment. These were in the top 10 of um, still the best um, trail running shoes. As you can see, the grips are quite hefty on these. Um, they go um, both directions. Um, you've got a lot of uh, tread on the back of the heel as well. And... In comparison with the Salomons, you have the uh, the rubber, the, the seal, the seam, whatever you want to call it, all the way around the bottom. So although they're not water resistant or waterproof, um, they will still hold out a lot of um, splashes, puddles. But, you know, these will definitely go through mud, etc. So if you're going to run your first trail, I would highly advise you to get something like these and just look at the treads. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give these a shot. One big tip is you have to wear them for a while before you go into your race or your uh, competition or whatever. Um, otherwise, you will have blisters. So my next event is a half marathon, and I need to make sure that these are sort of, sort of um, broken in. So I'm going to wear them around the house for a while and around um, outside, I think, as well. So there we go. Okay, let's go. Let's give these guys a shot. There you go, trail done. Full send down the mud and the gravel and things. Fair play, they didn't slip. Let's have a look. They're not so pretty anymore. Great stuff. Okay, so a bit of an update. I was editing the video and I thought I'd revisit them. I've done about 80 miles in them at the moment. Uh, treads are good. However, they're not as comfortable as other trainers I have. Saying that, they are trail shoes. I have to wear comfortable socks with them, um, but I'd rather them be a little bit softer in sole than they are. I think they're starting to come into the zone because I've worn them that much, but I thought they'd be there faster than they have at the moment. Anyway, there they are. Um, overall, I am happy with them. So, hope you're happy with this video. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be brilliant because that's all I'm trying to do is share hints and tips, uh, bits and bobs because I just love the outdoors. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. Thank you.